There have been just two confirmed cases, but anxiety about the coronavirus spread to the University of York today. After it emerged, one of those being treated is a student here. And while it isn't thought they came into contact with anyone on campus while they had symptoms, fellow students are taking precautions. If you wear the mask in the uh, city centre and uh, lots of people will see you and say, oh, you're so weird, you have the virus, but no, we don't have virus, we just protect us and uh, just protect lots of people. The two infected patients were staying at this hotel in York before being taken to hospital. Officials at Public Health England say they don't know how many people spent enough time close to them to be at risk. But the university's vice-chancellor says the risk of infection on campus is low. We understand this development will cause concern and anxiety. But I want to reassure our students, staff and the wider community that we're working closely with the lead agency Public Health England and other agencies to manage this situation. On the Wirral, this hospital accommodation block is now part sanctuary, part prison for British evacuees in quarantine. We have a concierge here and we have a couple of uh, senior nurses here who are just helping to stock up on, on some of the supplies. Matt Raw is here with his wife and his mother who has dementia. Speaking for myself, I'd, I'd be quite happy if they'd put me up in a tent on Salisbury Plain. But, you know, uh, I, I'm sure that there are people amongst us who uh, are a little more distressed about this than perhaps I am. At the moment, none of the people inside these buildings is actually ill, nor do officials expect them to be. But it could be a tedious two weeks for them waiting to make sure, two weeks in which they can't leave, and nobody will be allowed to visit them. In the land they left behind, the outbreak continues at alarming pace. China has asked the EU for help supplying vital medical equipment, but complained to the US about tough new travel restrictions, long queues at Beijing airport after American Airlines cancelled flights. Tonight, the two Chinese patients who tested positive here are still being cared for at a specialist unit in Newcastle as officials continue to seek those they came into contact with. Ben Chapman, ITV News.